Hey, Phil here with videoschoolonline.com, and in this video, I wanna show you my 10 plus favorite WordPress plugins that I'm currently using on my websites. So I'm just gonna go through this list. This is from an article that I just posted on the website, so I'll link to that article down below in the description. And this is just going to be a brief overview of what the plugins are and what they actually do for your website. So the first one that I recommend is a security plugin called WordFence Security. If you don't have a security plugin, you really need to, especially as you start to grow, you don't want your site to get hacked. And with WordFence Security, it does a ton of stuff, including preventers, preventing hackers from accessing your site, blocking out people who are trying to log into your website and don't know the passwords. It checks all of your site files to make sure there's no malicious files, including when you update plugins and things like that. So it's a very crucial plugin to have. There's other ones out there. Securi is another one that I've heard is highly recommended, but I've had a lot of success with WordFence and I really love it and it's pretty easy to use. The second one is Yoast SEO. So for one thing, you want your website to be found by search engines. So there's something called an XML sitemap, which basically tells search engines that here's your site and here's what it is and when you, and it helps your website appear in search engines like Google or Bing. Yoast goes a step further and it actually helps you write SEO friendly content. So when you're writing a blog article or a creating a page, it actually helps you create more friendly SEO friendly text and images and titles and headers and all of that kind of stuff. So it's a really great plugin for that. If you want to speed up your your website, WP Super Cache is a great plugin. Caching your website is really important or smart, especially if you're using images and you have a very dynamic website. What this plugin basically does is it turns those dynamic uh, animations or, or different things that happen on your website page and it basically creates an HTML version which is a easier to load version which most people in the world are going to see so it makes it a lot faster for them. So that's the third plugin that I would recommend. Akismet is an anti-spam plugin for both commenting and contact forms. And this plugin blocks so much spam that would end up in my inbox or on my comments on my pages. So I really highly recommend Akismet. It's basically pre-installed for most WordPress users um, and highly, highly recommended. The next one is, speaking of contact forms, the fast secure contact form. If you're looking for a very simple kind of bare bones contact form that does great at blocking spam, Fast Secure Contact Form is a good one. It's got the Google reCAPTCHA, which you know makes sure that people who are commenting or, or submitting information on your contact form are humans and not spam bots. So if you just need a quick contact page, this is a great one to use. All these have to do, you can see, kind of with security and making sure that your website runs as good as it can. And my sixth plugin that I want to recommend is Backup WordPress. There's different backup uh, plugins that are free and paid, but this is a great free one if you want to get started. You can schedule out the backup so that it basically automatically backs up your website every week, every day, every month, whenever or however often you want it. This is super important if for some reason your website does get hacked, it does go down, you want to make sure that you can get it back up and running. So that's super important. Backup WordPress is the plugin that I recommend. Now these are some more fun ones for the last few. Number seven is Gumroad. If you're looking to sell digital products or even physical products online with your website, Gumroad is a great easy one to use. This actually works in conjunction with gumroad.com where you actually host your digital products or, or you actually sell your products but you can use the Gumroad plugin for WordPress to put nice overlays and buy now buttons on your website. So check out gumroad.com. You can get started for free. They take care of all the payment processing. You can even do subscriptions uh, or recurring payments uh, or plans or one-time fees for any of your products or services with Gumroad. Pretty Link Lite is a very, <laughs> I love this plugin. I use it all the time for my YouTube videos. 
when you click on a link down in the description, usually it's a pretty link. It's basically a link shortening plugin or a link redirection plugin where you can actually take a long blog link or any page of yours and shorten it to something nice, easy, and memorable, easier to copy and paste, easy to click on, or easy to actually remember and type in. And the other cool thing about it is that you can track the people clicking on it. So I can see how many people are actually clicking on this link and say I want to change where this link is redirected in the future, I can do that, I can edit the pretty link. And this is really good because say for example, I am setting a lot of people to a specific landing page from YouTube or from social media, and then I want to change that landing page to something else, I can do that with pretty link just by changing the redirect. So that's a really good one to have. Email marketing. If you're new to online business and you've been researching this, you probably know email marketing and building your list is so, so important. The plugin and the tool that I use is ConvertKit. I upgraded from MailPoet, which is a free WordPress plugin. I actually highly recommend MailPoet if you want to get started because you can start for free. You can start accepting email addresses, start sending out emails, start sending automated email sequences really easy to use it's built right within wordpress so you don't have to jump around to different platforms but if you do want to do more things like tagging and sequencing and different types of automated funnels convert kit is a great way to go and i'll link to convert kit down below if you're interested in it's my affiliate link if you want to sign up but at no extra cost to you you can get started it's built by bloggers for bloggers basically for anyone trying to do online business in the modern world so Creating an email list is so important with your WordPress website and uh, with ConvertKit, it makes it super easy. Next, we've got Google Analytics Dashboard is just a way for you to actually view your stats on WordPress so you don't have to log into Google Analytics to see all of your latest stats. It's just a great way to keep track of how your website is doing and if it's growing or not. And then lastly, Sumo Me has some free tools that you can use to get started on WordPress. It's the plugin, if you search for Sumo Me, you should find it. It's called uh, Free Tools to Grow Your Email List, Social Sharing and Analytics by Sumo. And the few things that it comes for free are really great. You can do some welcome mats, you can do a hello bar or a top bar, you can do some other sort of email opt-in forms that connect with all kinds of email services. Uh, there, you do have to pay for some of the features, but to get started, there's some cool stuff. You can also add social media buttons to your pages and posts and customize where it's at. There are a lot of tools within the Sumo Me plugin that you can get started with, doing A-B testing, landing pages, all kinds of things to grow your audience and to actually monetize your online business. But you can get started for free with uh, the f free tools from Sumo Me. So these are my favorite WordPress plugins that I'm using right now. If you're interested in learning how to create a WordPress website, I am putting out a new course for on WordPress for beginners. So if you're a complete beginner to WordPress and to building websites, this is going to be a great course for you. So I'll link to it in the description once it's live in the next few weeks. Otherwise, just pay attention to the YouTube channel and the website for when it does launch later on in March. Thanks so much. Have a great day. And if I missed any plugins that you really like, or if you have other plugins that do the same thing that I have plugins for, or I recommended, let me know. Maybe you have some that are even better than mine. Thanks so much. And we'll talk to you in another video.